Well, I'll tell you wait till I walk out to say anything. That's courage. That's courage. Anthony Weiner shouting match with a voter. He went from big meanie to martyr. The first look at the footage made him look like a jerk. Well, the full video made him look like a victim of intolerance. Whatever the case, the candidate didn't exactly handle the situation elegantly. But what are you supposed to do when you're baited and berated and all in public? We're here to talk about this. A psychologist, Dr. J. Buzz von Orsteiner. Nice to see you, Dr. Buzz, Great. as always. Great to be here. Let's talk about this one because, you know, we, we've watched yeah. him. He has a short fuse. This yes. is not the first time he's done something like this. But listening to his response to a, a horrible comment yes. that was made by uh, one of the voters, one of the constituents. Absolutely. What was, first of all, uh, Anthony Weiner trying to do? Because he knows people are following him. He knows there's cameras everywhere. It's, right. it's obvious. Well, you know, the guy obviously thrives mm -hmm. on, on right. attention. We know that. But, you know, he's also one of these men who can't back down. Right. Right. You know, and unfortunately, he's giving positive attention to this stranger on the street. Right. Right. We don't know who this stranger is. You know, the, the stranger is, in a way, tantruming, says sure. horrible, vicious, assaultive words. And then, like a fish with a hook, he's baiting Mr. Weiner. And then Mr. Weiner, of course, has to come back. And basically getting what he wants because he's getting, yes. you know, the voters getting the, getting the attention anyway, right. getting a response. What, what should Weiner have done, though? Because i got to tell you, if some, you know, you, you want to say certain things are off limits. Maybe, you know, a wife, kids. I mean, right. he, he was talking about Anthony Weiner's uh, wife. Right. And he, and he was successful. Sure. He was successful in pushing his buttons right. and allowing Mr. Weiner to lose emotional control. So in that situation, you know, what the public wants to see is they certainly don't want to see two men acting like a bunch of kids. Right. And they want to see someone who's emotionally in control and can walk away. I know that sounds really bad to ignore and move on, but we don't know who this person is. We don't know if they're mentally ill. We don't know if they're cognitively impaired. We don't know what they're capable of either. And that's how assaultive behavior happens. But there also is the bakery. The bakery doesn't want this to happen. Of in course. Well, and there's kids all there's around kids. there and everything uh, on a holiday yeah. uh, of all times. What, what do you think? What should Wiener have done, though? I mean, he's it's, it's almost as if he does, you know, listen, he in his right to, to, to answer back, but what should he have done as somebody who's running for office? You know, I would like to have thought <coughs> that he could hold on to his emotions and, and keep emotionally calm sure. and leave, leave the area and actually ignore the bad behavior because the children may not have heard it. The more you react then, the more the other individual, which I don't know what, what he was thinking, what he was, thinking right. was then, okay, I'm reacting. Either one, both of them have to get power and control over the other. It becomes this bait and switch match of who has more power over the other person. You know, no one comes and sees me when they're happy. Trust me. I'm you know, sure. They get arrested. They're, they're in conflict. But the best situations are when people can maturely reach good negotiation skills, mm -hmm. compromise. And, and, and it, it goes against any kind you'd, of relationship. You'd like, you'd like to be able to see that, right? Yes. Dr. Buss, thank you so much. As always, good to sure. see you. Sure. Thank you.